What up, y'all? I'm Logan Glitterbomb with the Green Market Agorist, and it is Solar Punk Action Week! Save the tree! Solar Punk Action Week is a tradition that happens about once every six months where folks in the solar punk community work to make their ideas a reality. But what is solar punk? Well, solar punk first and foremost started as a science fiction fandom, similar to cyberpunk and steampunk, but with more of a focus on green technology and environmentalism. Unlike cyberpunk, which takes a more grim, dystopic look at our future, especially in terms of government and corporate overreach and oppression, solar punk offers a much more utopian look at the future where we've actually improved society, especially in the realms of our relationship to the environment and the technology that we use. And similarly to steampunk's vision of a world of technology powered by steam, uh, solar punk envisions a society which fully embraces and utilizes solar power and other renewable energies to power their technology. Now, solar punk first and foremost is a genre. It encompasses literature, animation, comics, film, television, games, music, and even architecture and fashion. So how does one transfer this to real life for Solar Punk Action Week? Well, much in the same way that hackers took inspiration from cyberpunk, and started the real-life cypherpunk movement, which helped to inspire crypto-anarchists to create everything from Rise Up to Bitcoin, fans of solar punk have taken the core goal of the genre, environmentalism and green technology, and have turned it into a real-life movement. So what is solar punk IRL? Well, it's just nerdy environmentalism. It's stuff like SolarCoin, which is a cryptocurrency which is based on solar energy generation, or Fairphone, which is an attempt at building a more environmentally friendly modular cell phone. It's Precious Plastic, which released free blueprints for creating home recycling machines for plastic, even ones which you can create 3D printer fiber out of your trash. It's community hacker spaces, maker spaces, and science labs. But more than that, it's also low-tech solutions, such as community tool libraries, clothing and book swaps, free stores, bicycling, divesting from fossil fuels, recycling, gardening, and generally moving towards a zero-waste sustainable lifestyle. So, in celebration of Solar Punk Action Week, I'm going to do some very simple actions to show that it really doesn't take much in that you don't have to be a tech genius to help create a solar punk world. Currently, I'm staying with some friends during my travels, and one of the things that I've noticed is just how much trash everyone in this house produces on a regular basis. So I figured I'd take the opportunity to help them reduce their waste, since that is a goal of theirs as well. And we're going to start with two simple things. We're going to fix up their flower bed that's already on the side of the house and turn it into a compost pile. And then we're gonna get them a damn recycle bin. Now, to be fair, they literally just moved in at the beginning of the year and we've been traveling a lot. So it's completely understandable that they don't have a bin yet. It's not like we make recycling easy or anything. So yeah, we're gonna go through the process of getting a recycle bin and discuss proper recycling since if you do it improperly, they throw everything out, and it's kind of pointless then. And then we're going to create our compost pile. Separating out food waste and recyclables should go a decent way into cutting down their waste. But just because we can, we'll also be discussing some tips on reducing and reusing waste as well later on this week. So stay tuned for those videos throughout this week. And if you like this video, do all the things to please the algorithm, like subscribe, share, all that jazz. Yeah, share the video with your friends. Inspire others to participate this week. And if you'd like to support my work, 
you can subscribe to my Bitpacker, Patreon, or Subscribestar, or make a one-time donation via PayPal or coin payments. Every little bit does help with the projects that I participate in and then I do. Links are all in the description. And be sure to check out our partners at Brave Botanicals, who are giving away a free ounce of Kratom to all first-time customers, using the link in the description below. And you can also buy through them using our link to support this channel while fulfilling all your Kratom and CBD needs. And finally, be sure to leave a comment below letting me know what you're doing for Solar Punk Action Week. And I'll see you next video.